Hey guys, what's up? This is Mario here, bringing you guys another video. And today I wanted to do another Destiny Talk video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. As, but anyways, uh, today's topic that I wanted to talk about is should trading be added to Destiny? Now this is a, a like a, one of the most talked about topics on the game. Um, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the good points and the bad points as to why trading should and shouldn't be added. Um, and so let's start off, of course, with the good points. Now, trading would be quite a good thing in Destiny for uh, a few reasons, actually. Uh, the first reason being that you'd be able to give duplicate weapons or pieces of armor uh, to any friends that wanted them. And then you'd be able to get something in return, probably like some strange coins or some motes of light or whatever they've got spare. Uh, so this would be good, of course, because you'd be getting rid of your duplicates and you'd be gaining something in return. And this is how the trading system would ideally work um, in Destiny. So you'd be able to give any duplicates maybe you don't want, but your friend's like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take that for, like, say, like, five strange coins or something. And you're like, yeah, let's let's have that then. Uh, it, it works kind of like that. So you can get items that you don't already have from friends if they get duplicates. Um, then the second reason, the second good point anyways, and this is the last good point that I managed to come up with, uh, was that there'd be a massive market and there'd be more of a, like a large economy, like a player-based economy. And it would allow players to become more creative with how they bought and sold items. Um, so maybe Jeu sells a weapon. Uh, this is also actually leads into a bad point. Um, but maybe Jeu sells a weapon for the week and you've already got it. You could buy it like three times and then sell it off. Um, for a little bit more and you'd be gaining something in return for that. Now of course players would be aware you were selling it for more um, but let's say you keep, keep that weapons or those three weapons until let's say maybe four weeks after Jeu sold the weapon and um, then people would be like oh but you might not sell it next week so I may as well buy it for this let's say two added strange coins maybe. Um, and so it would create like a, a really creative economy essentially uh, which would allow players to be like very crafty on how to get money um which would be cool but the problem with that is uh, is that there's a, a very there's a lots of currencies at the minute in destiny um and so it would be very difficult to place prices on weapons apart from using strange coins um, but once you've got all your strange coins, then you can't really spend them on much apart from exo ex exotics that you don't have. And once you have all the exotics, then you can't really spend uh, them on anything, and you're just getting strange coins. You're basically swallowing strange coins down your down your throat, essentially. Um, so now, moving away from the good points, I'm going to move on to the bad points about why trading shouldn't be added into the game. Um, now, the first thing, and this is the main thing, is the fact that the replayability of Destiny would be cut in half. It would be ridiculous, um, because, um, if, let's imagine this, okay, so they release in the House of Wolves, just using it as an example, because this video was released before the House of Wolves, um, in the House of Wolves, let's say they add five new exotic weapons, let's just say that. Uh, and let's say that you get uh, you get really lucky and you get one from the new raid, one of the new exotics, and you get one from the nightfall. Let's just say that. Um, and so you get really lucky, you get those two weapons. Now you have two options there. You can either sell those off to people who don't have those weapons, or you can just, maybe, you, you want to collect them of course, and so you could just buy the ones from people that have them. Um, and want to sell them off. And so you see, you're just gaining all of the weapons that you should earn through RNG, uh, which is how it works at the minute. Um, but you're just buying them. So you basically, you can go, if you have a bunch of strange coins, you can just go onto this market, find someone with a weapon that you want, buy it off them, and that's it. Then you don't have to earn the weapon, you don't have to do anything to get the weapon, you've just bought it off someone. Um, and that's, that's that. You just bought it off someone, you haven't earned it at all. Uh, you just kind of just purchased it and so that would ruin the fact that you have to actually play the game to get items and you see why that's a problem because kind of the point of destiny is that you've got to grind to get your loot you've got to have like this they said uh, in like the developer conferences before the game came out that they wanted people to have a story about how they got exotics or good pieces of armor uh, and it was like, it would remove that thing of like, oh yeah, well, I, I went through the raid and I slayed the raid boss uh, and then I got this weapon by doing so. Uh, it would get rid of that sort of feel and it would uh, it would just be like, oh, I bought it from uh, said name, let's say, um, Bunny, Bunny Crisp 72 I just bought it off Bunny Crisp 72 That's not a very interesting story. 
And that kind of gets rid of what they said in the press conferences. Anyway, that was a very long bad point, actually. Uh, let's move on to the second bad point that I have, which would be people would end up selling full sets of raid gear uh, for set prices, which would mean that players could just buy all the raid gear, uh, and they wouldn't have to do the raid. And again, this is about cutting the replayability in half. Um, there's there's no replayability here. You don't even you wouldn't even have to do the raid to get to the the highest level. You would just have to simply go on the market, buy all the gear, uh, rank it up, or it might already be ranked up, uh, and then you you just put it on done. Your highest level. No need to play the game anymore once you've done that on all three characters. Um, Unless you're ranking up factions or something. Uh, and yeah, that's it. You're done. You don't have to play the raid ever. You can literally just buy it. You might not... You don't even need one completion to, to uh, get to the highest level. And so you see, that's another problem that would occur. Uh, and then the final problem that I managed to come up with that would occur is that eventually it's likely that people would end up charging real-world money for items, uh, which is kind of what happened. I'm using Realm of the Mad God as an example. If you guys don't know what Realm of the Mad God is, it's it's I think it's an indie game. It's an 8-bit... Um, shoot, shoot 'em up game kind of thing. It's it's like a 2D, pl not a platformer. It's a 2D shoot 'em up game. That's it. That's all you need to know, really. Uh, and people have created websites where you can just buy the highest tier items if you've got money. Uh, and you've also got to remember that in that game, when you die, you actually lose all of your items. So if you die with that item, then you wasted that money. Um, but anyways, yeah, moving off of Realm of the Mad God, um, that's basically what would end up happening, is that you could sell maybe, you could probably sell, if you've got spare Gyalahorns, you could probably sell them for a decent amount and people would buy them. Uh, and that is just, it's not necessarily bad if you have a Gyalahorn and you you want to sell it, I mean, you're making real world money there, that's a good thing. Um, but it would be bad for the game in general, because it means that you'd be able to just charge people real money. Uh, to get all of the good weapons and again it cuts the replayability in half by you can buy all of the stuff you're supposed to earn essentially it's a pay to win game uh, or that's what it becomes um, and now for the people that ha are going to uh, put up the argument and this has been talked about by uh, a lot of the top streamers on Twitch uh, specifically Gathalion uh, and he says, why uh, why not put this restriction or that restriction on it? Um, and the reason that this wasn't working, this is what he said, is that if you have to put a restriction on a system, then it wasn't working, in, and it wasn't working in the first place, then it's not going to work with the restriction. Uh, essentially, it, if it can be exploited beforehand, then people will find a way to exploit it if you have to put restrictions on it. Uh, and so it doesn't matter either way, it's still going to be ruined, and it's still going to be a broken system if you have to put restrictions on it. So there was an idea, actually, that someone came up with, I think it was in a Planet Destiny podcast, um, with the idea that in, you shouldn't be able to trade exotics, uh, all legend, all raid gear, essentially, but you should be able to trade Vanguard and Crucible weapons. So say you want better perks on your gun, uh, you can... You can just have that, essentially. Uh, but the reason that this actually ruins the game uh, is because A, you don't have to earn your good your good perk rolls on your weapons, uh, and B, um, once again, you don't have to, like I said, you don't have to earn the weapons, uh, and also, yeah, that's basically it. I, I, I said there was two reasons, but that's basically it. You don't have to earn those weapons, you just get them, essentially. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're coming towards the end of the video here, so my opinion is that trading should not be added to the game, simply because it would cut the replayability in half, and if you want to play Destiny, you know that the replayability is already very low, or for some of you guys, anyways, for me, it's like insane, but yeah, you guys get the picture. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy, remember to smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for daily gaming content. Remember to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links in the description below. And I'll see you guys in another video. So until then, ciao.